Uh, we're surrounded by all this gorgeous art from both African and Indian artists. Tell me why you thought bringing South African art to India and Hyderabad was important. I felt we had lost connection mm -hmm. with South Africa. That was the moot point. Uh, I felt that we owe a debt of gratitude to South Africa for India's freedom movement and India's democracy. Most of what we know about South Africa has remained in history books that we learned in school. And so when I reached South Africa 12 months ago, I really, it was a steep learning curve for me. And I was really enamored by your country, your people. And I said, I need to take this country to Hyderabad. And what better way to do it than to showcase creative in instincts of uh, South Africans. When I look at this, when I'm in this room now and I see this bridge has come alive. We've had some South African artists who agreed to come here at their own expense to come and paint in Hyderabad uh, uh, and help me showcase South Africa. And then the, the local artists who came in, again who spent two, three days working on their paintings and look, I am so proud to see this confluence, this connection. I'm here with Amita Makan, an artist from PE in South Africa originally. Now Amita uses an age-old tradition of hand embroidery to do modern artworks. Amita, this is absolutely gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about your paintings. There's deep symbolism attached to my work and that is uh, drawing on the universal theme of the impermanence of life. So if you see the medium that I'm using is cotton and then I'm using silk threads over. So this is a comment on one's, you know, on our mortality. Yes. Um, and also I'm exploring the issues of identity and um, belonging. And I think this is something that's quite critical, especially for this anniversary of 150 years of indentured labourers in, from India in South Africa. And I mean, this is why you're here. You brought here as a South African artist. Um, it's been marvellous. It's a landmark event, I would say. You know, it's the first event in, um, in India to commemorate 150 years presence of Indians in South Africa. So it makes it doubly special. I'm here with Makiba Mutomba. Now, Makiba has gone from selling art on the side of the streets in Zimbabwe to exhibiting in Paris and winning awards. And he's here in India right now with this, with this gorgeous portrait of Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, that everyone's just fallen in love with. Now, tell us a little bit about your work. What are you doing here in India? Uh, I'm here to, to, to meet with other artists uh, in this artist camp and also to share our skills and uh, to learn from each other, basically, yes. Yes. What do you think of a partnership between the two places, between South Africa and India? And India? Uh, I, think, I think we enjoy very good relations since we have a, a, a quite a significant Indian population in, in South Africa. Uh, so I think this partnership should only grow with time. And artistically, you think there's lots to learn from India? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I find India a very uh, in, uh, inspirational place to be. Uh, the colors here are, are just out of this world. Uh, it's just a beautiful place. I mean, you get a, d a different palette altogether when you're in India. Uh, yeah, so I am definitely going to come back here sometime and, and yeah, to take some inspiration from, from this.